I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to figure out a method of writing equation of a rational function from the given conditions. Question is write equation for a rational function whose graph has all of the indicated features x intercept of 4 over 5 horizontal asymptote at y equals to 5 over 3 y intercept of minus 2 and vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 2 over 3. Now there are many different ways of doing this question. I'll try to teach you some strategies which will help you to figure out the answer in an efficient way. Let's look into each component very carefully. Let's say vertical asymptote is minus 2 over 3. It means what? It means that cx plus d should be 0 for x equals to minus 2 over 3. Correct? So for x equals to minus 2 over 3, cx over d should be 0. That is what it means. So what values of c and d can help you figure that out? Right? So that means what I'm trying to do here is c times minus 2 over 3 plus d is equal to 0. This is what this statement says. Correct? So clearly, if I have c as 3, then 3 and 3 will cancel and d as 2, it should work, correct? So from here, I can say my c value is 3 and d is, if I write 3 here, 3 and 3 will cancel. I'm left with minus 2, so d should be 2. So that works. Do you see that? So, so what we will do is we'll do some rough calculations and then try to figure out and write down our answers somehow here. So the possible solution for us here is that it could be 3x plus 2 in the denominator. That is cx plus d. Do you get it? If I now for what value do we have a vertical asymptote? You can see like that.
So what we see here is that the equation 3x plus 2 in the denominator satisfies vertical asymptote x equals to minus 2 over 3. Now let's look into the horizontal asymptote which is y equals to 5 over 3. If I'm going to write an equation like this, then 5 over 3 is the ratio of coefficients of numerator and denominator. So a over c should be 5 over 3. I already have 3 here, so I can write a as 5. So I have 5x here. Do you see that? So from, so from vertical asymptote, we got the denominator. Then from horizontal asymptote, we got this factor. And now we need to figure out what is x and y intercepts. Now, y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So that is a very easy point to pick. x equals to 0 gives you y-intercept. So if I write x equals to 0, I get b over d. That means y-intercept of minus 2, b over d, that ratio is minus 2. Minus 2 I can get if I write minus 4 here. So from that ratio, I get minus 4. So I have utilized this point. Now, x-intercept serves as a checkpoint. So let us check whether it works or not. x-intercept is 4 over 5. x-intercept means f of x is 0, right? So the numerator should be 0. Now, for 4 over 5, if I write 4 over 5, I do get a 0. So that means this function is representative of the given conditions. I hope with these simple steps, it should be easy for you to write a rational equation from the given conditions and also check it whether it is right or wrong. I hope you appreciate it. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and learn a lot more. Thank you and all the best.